Welcome to Coffee Grounds with Jeff Wallach. All summer long we've been showing you some really cool ideas for container gardening and today it's don't forget about the shaded don't area. Don't forget about the shade. A lot of people are intimidated by the shade, uh, but it's a great way to introduce some really cool textures and foliage colors too. You found some great ones too. Some awesome ones, uh, especially ones that I can't kill is the ones that I like to tell everybody to do. Um, so some plants that you can use for the shade, Claudia, there's some really cool hostas here. Um, I can't kill those. Mm -hmm. uh, most people can't either, so they're great to add into um, some really fun containers for the shade. And then hostas and ferns and hydrangeas actually play really well together. They're companion plants, so there's lots of really cool ferns. This one's called Godzilla, and then we have Lady in Red here. I love these names. I know, they're fun. Neat. And then, Claudia, you have some really cool okay. stuff too. You got some coral bells. Right here. There's the lighter color foliage, and then also that dark color foliage. Um, and uh, everyone- There's a little flower up here too. Perfect. Yeah. Nice. Everyone makes fun of me because I like to put Pachysandra in my planters, uh, which is this invasive evergreen. Do I have one too? Yeah, you do. But they're really cool. They're great fillers, and uh -huh. I love in putting them in shade containers. All right. And the container, I know you, you've noticed, you always start in the center. And this time you start in the center with a beautiful hydrate. I did because I do all four seasons. Um, and so this is going to last me through all four seasons. So we're just going to add some stuff into there. You got some really cool okay. moss, Claudia. Oh, I do. Look. I got a really cool. Um, Pasta here. That's going to trail off really nice. And then a really cool Beautiful. fern. And how often? I mean, you're going to have to water this, right? You're going to have to water it. Yeah. So once you get it planted, watered in really well, and then the heat of the summer, you're probably going to have to water every day. Yeah, but this is going to has a beautiful texture to it, beautiful color. Last you through maybe August, do you think? August, September. Great fall color on all of the perennials, too. And they come back. All righty. For more information, go to wallage.net.